Dear learners, in this session, we would be learning in detail about microwave cooking. Microwave is one of the most useful inventions of 20th century. A variety of food including baked food, grilled food etc. can be cooked using microwave. In urbanized world, it is indispensable and saves lot of cooking time. The objective of this session is to Describe the functioning and principles of microwave and how to use the microwave oven for cooking and its safety measures. Let us briefly look into what is microwave and how it is generated and used in the oven. Microwaves are high frequency non-ionizing electromagnetic waves which are similar to radio and television waves but they are shorter hence they are known as microwaves they are not however as powerful as infrared rays and they do not resemble x-ray gamma rays and ultraviolet rays in any way inside the microwave oven is a magnetron vacuum tube this converts ordinary electrical energy into high frequency microwaves these waves are channelized into the oven cavity through a waveguide a stirrer fan distributes the microwaves evenly inside the oven the working principle of microwave cooking is the radiated energy in the form of microwaves affects only some of the molecules in the food. These are the electrically charged molecules of which the most important in food is water. Microwaves penetrate the food to a depth of 2 to 5 centimeters. Microwaves passes the energy to water molecules. The water molecules then vibrate 2000 million times per second. This movement produces a band of heat inside the food. The heat produced inside this area is conducted or convected throughout the food. Food is heated from all directions producing very fast quick cooking. Traditional cooking involves loss of heat to the oven, to the equipment and to the kitchen itself. Microwave cooking in comparison with the conventional cooking offers a quick and efficient method of cookery. Now let me explain the principle behind the microwave and how it is produced. Microwaves are produced from the electricity by a magnetron. They are then directed into the oven and distributed evenly by a fan. A shiny oven surface allows the waves to be reflected in all directions to promote fast and even cooking. The following picture shows the principle of microwave heating. Let's discuss the structure and important parts of microwave oven. Microwave oven generally consists the basic components like power supply this controls the power to be fed to the magnetron and magnetron is a vacuum tube where electrical energy is converted to an electromagnetic field. Waveguide it is a rectangular metal tube to direct the microwave generated from the magnetron to the cooking cavity. It allows the, it allows to prevent the direct exposure of magnetron to any food particles. Stirrer, it commonly used to distribute the microwave from the waveguide to allow more uniform heating of food. Turntable is the one which rotates the food and produces through the fixed hot and cold spots inside the cooking cavity 
and allows the food products to be evenly exposed to the microwaves. Cooking cavity is a space inside where the food is heated when it is exposed to microwaves. Door and choke allows the entry of food to the cooking cavity. They are engineered in such a way that they prevent the microwaves from leaking between the door and the cooking cavity. Apart from the oven itself, many other accessories and attachments may be required depending on the type of food we prepare. Let's study about few of them. Turntable that is convection currents are slow to develop and therefore many microwaves are fitted with a turntable to stimulate the stirring. Microwaves cooking produces no browning on the surface because the temperature inside the oven are not high enough to produce the surface changes. Browning dishes are ceramic dishes coated with a layer of material which absorbs microwave and gets heated. Food placed on the hot surface will seal as if in a hot frying pan. Infrared heaters, these are positioned in the oven so that at the end of the cooking, browning can be achieved quickly. Microwave cookers are conventional ovens with the facility to produce microwaves. They combine both systems to produce high level of versatility, speed and cost effectiveness. Temperature probes are used because food may be cooked inside, the surface remains cool. Traditional eye judgment to determine if the food is cooked or not is impossible in this. So thermometers will be pierced inside the surface of the food to measure the internal temperatures and therefore it is very essential. These are called temperature probes and are available ready installed in some ovens usually referred to computerized microwave ovens. They are especially useful in cooking meat and poultry to avoid undercooking and dangers of food poisoning. Example of temperature probe is shown in this figure. Coming to cooking dishes, the size and shape of the dish it is very important. Capacity and depth of the container are important. Food gets cooked in shallow dishes well than in narrow dishes. Round and ring shapes are excellent for foods which cannot be stirred. Unlike regular cooking, many more utensils can be used in microwave cooking. The metallic utensils cannot be used because they are good conductors of heat and they get heated up rather than the food. The range of utensils that are used for microwaving is much wider than that of other conventional cooking utensils. Remember that dishes should not act as a barrier to microwave energy. Metal dishes are unsuitable for microwaves. Paper plates, absorbent kitchen paper, paper napkins, paper cups and cottons all have their uses. Recycled paper should not be used, for example newspaper, paper in suitable only for heating and it is not for cooking. It is used only for reheating. China glass and pottery. <coughs> Oven proof china glass, for example, borosilware and pottery dishes are preferably suitable. But check that there are no metal rims or glued on handles. Ceramic dishes should be non-porous to check if a dish is non-porous, heat the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. The dish should not feel warm. Plastics are generally not used. If used, they can be used for short duration only. Extended usage melts or distorts the plastics. Plastics like styrofoam are safe for heating, but it gets melted or distorts at cooking temperatures. 
melamine however is not recommended as it may char the food pure cotton or linen napkins can be used for short reheating purpose and for warming of bread rolls straws and wood can be used only for short time reheating wooden spoons may be left in the microwave for short cooking period it is essential to maintain the oven and its accessories in good condition to save power time cost and to maintain good hygiene too shall we learn on this regarding the care of equipment the oven should be clean after every use with warm soapy water the oven should be serviced and maintained according to the manufacturer's instructions the suitable foods for this kind of microwave is most foods contain large proportion of water and can therefore be cooked raw in the microwave oven baked flour products are not particularly successful because crispness color and aeration are difficult to achieve in this type of cooking cheaper cuts of meats they do not have time to dissolve out the collagen and tend to remain chunky Microwave oven is ideally suited for reheating cooked foods and also for defrosting frozen foods. Food cook well at similar temperatures in microwave oven as compared to traditional methods. Cooking time using microwave oven are determined by specialist recipe books and by experimentation too. But the latter may be costly and time consuming reaps positive benefits in longer time in general cooking times are reduced by 75% compared with the traditional way of cooking cooking time will be influenced by the following factors using microwaves porous foods like minced meat or mashed potato can be cooked faster compared to dense foods like whole potatoes foods of uniform size and shape cook more consistently as in traditional cooking food substances in round shape cook more evenly than square ones or rectangles because they absorb more energy at the corners food placed in shallow dish will cook faster than the same quantity which is kept in a deeper dish ring shapes are ideal for microwaving as energy penetrates the food from top bottom sides and in the center producing minimum cooking time cooking time is directly related to quantity of food this is because the microwave energy remains constant but has to be shared among the increased volume of food therefore requiring a longer period to cook the food the power output of microwave oven varies between 500 to 700 watts the lower the output the longer the cooking time the amount of microwave energy released into the oven over a time period is controlled by various cooking control settings the energy is periodically burnt off and on to produce slower cooking heating and defrosting though microwave cooking seems simple there are several techniques that can be followed for effective and efficient cooking of quality food in microwave cooking lids and cling films are used to trap the steam and moisture to tenderize and speed up the cooking Paper towels can be used to prevent spattering of food. Papers can also be used under the breads, baked potatoes, etc. because it absorbs moisture and keep the surface crisp and dry. To avoid bursting of food due to excess steam built up, skinned foods should be pierced before cooking. For example, foods like potato with skin, egg yolk 
etc. should be loosened before microwaving. Food should be arranged in such a way that it should be placed inside the ring around the tent table. Enough spaces should be provided between the food so that the microwave energy can pass on all the sides of the food. Since the middle part of the microwave oven receives less energy, it should be left unoccupied. Foods with thin or delicate ends like drumstick or asparagus are placed with a thick or tougher portions to the outside of the dish. The parts of the food which needs more cooking will obtain more energy. So food will cook evenly in this. Areas which attract the most energy like wing tips, breast bone of turkey or the square corners of the cake need protection to prevent overcooking. Aluminium foil can be used to prevent the loss of microwave energy away from these areas. Covering meats with a sauce, this type of thing also shields the meat and prevents drying out. Example, how to seal the food with aluminium foil is depicted in this figure. The technique is used, that is stirring the food technique, it is used in all forms of cookery to distribute heat evenly. Microwave cooking does not need stirring because there is no scorching of food when compared to conventional method of cooking. Rearranging of closely packed food is needed for solid foods so that microwaves distributes evenly between the food particles for through or thorough cooking. Energy distribution inside the microwave oven is not uniform, hence a turntable is required to constantly rotate the food so that Equal heat is absorbed by all portions of the food. If turntable is not available, adequate repositioning of the food is essential. Color can be developed using one of the modifications of microwave equipment. Browning powders which are commercially available in the market can be used to achieve browning in the foods. Experimentation with normal kitchen ingredients provides numerous ways of achieving surface color. By following these methods, browning of the food can be achieved. Butter and paprika brushed over the surface of the poultry. Soy sauce and tomato sauce brushed onto the meat joints. Grated cheese and bread crumbs spread it on chicken pieces. Frosting and topping as decorative finishes for cakes after cooking. The use of highly colored ingredients such as brown sugar. Bread can be brushed with diluted meat extract and sprinkled with poppy seeds and nuts. Many type of food develop enough heat to cook continuously even after being removed from the microwave oven. This is called standing time. For example, cakes and some whole vegetables cook completely even after they are removed from the microwave oven. In traditional cooking, we know when food is cooked by experience. In case of microwave cooking, some of the tips to understand doneness of different types of food are given here. Wait until after standing time before testing the food for doneness. Remove some foods while they are still look partially cooked. The final test is individual preference. Cake is done when it draws away from the sides of the pan. Fish flakes easily with a fork and toughens or dries if uncooked. Meat is done when it feels tender with a fork. Chicken legs move freely at the joints and the meat is soft when it is pinched. Potato gets heated thoroughly after 5 minutes but when sliced it reveals an uncooked center. 
don't allow a standing time of 5 minutes to allow perfect cooking knife inserted halfway between the center and edge of custard comes out clean feel the bottom of the plate when reheating the food if the food is hot enough the plate will be warm let us learn about the factors that affect microwave cooking the characteristics affect all forms of cooking but microwave speed makes the difference more pronounced colder the food longer it will take to heat up or cook and vice versa remember too that room temperature may differ appreciably with the season and that cooking time may be longer on a cold winter day dense and heavy foods like meat or vegetables may take longer to cook than the light ones and porous foods such as breads cakes and puddings small quantity or small amount of food takes less time to cook than the larger quantities if the amount of food being cooked is double the cooking time will also increase simultaneously small pieces of food cook faster than the larger ones since microwave penetrate food half to quarter to half inch uniform pieces under 2 inches in diameter cook faster and more evenly thin parts of uneven foods cook faster than the thick ones thin parts of food should be placed towards the center of a dish where they receive less microwave energy thin parts can also be shielded with small pieces of aluminum foil to slow down the cooking here are some microwave applications the current and potential use of microwave heating in the food industry are many and of growing importance microwave oven can be used for baking curing drying blanching freeze drying heating sterilizing tempering and thawing practical hints to be followed when using a microwave are close the jars closed jars should not be used because it may explode due to excessive pressure which is built, which is built up inside less quantities of food can be burnt out due to little moisture content meat herbs vegetables and fruits should not be dried in microwave eggs should not be heated with the shell because it may burst due to excessive pressure overcooking of potatoes tend to catch up fire after drying paper towels or cloths with synthetic fiber should not be used as it may be ignited check whether the microwave oven door is closed properly if wrapper is used use only for only after perforating it let us understand the advantages of using microwave oven wastage of liquid petroleum gas can be saved when using microwave oven as it cooks the food very fast thawing of food can be done easily without wasting time in cooling the ice foods no change in texture and flavor of the food it becomes uniform in cooking no decolorization of fruits and vegetables loss of nutrients especially water soluble vitamins like vitamin b and c it consumes less fat or without fat also we can cook by using microwave washing of microwave utensils is very easy because the food does not stick to, stick to the utensil though it has lot of advantages it has some disadvantages also no browning of food occurs when cooked in a microwave oven because of less cooking time browning of food occurs only when it has browning unit chapatis and tandoori's cannot be made using microwave 
soft and hard boiled eggs cannot be cooked deep fat frying of foods it is not at all possible in microwave migration of unwanted chemicals from the microwave utensils to the food may be possible use of microwave safe utensils should be used for cooking improper handling of microwave oven causes physical damages thicker foods are not cooked at the middle portion as the radiation does not pass inside the middle portion this causes easy spoilage of food though it makes our lives easier care and cleaning are required to maintain the microwaves let us have a look on care and cleaning of microwave microwaves are easy to keep clean and need only to be wiped with a damp cloth after the use disconnect from electric supply before cleaning don't use any abrasive cleaners knives as they may cause scratches in the microwave if any small bulbs up in the oven cavity place a container with a lemon juice and water and heat to boiling point removable shelves and racks should be washed in a bowl of warm soapy water and wiped dry before being reused the oven should not be operated without food in it because this may cause damage to the microwave oven the door seals are very important so that the food never accumulates around it don't allow children to tamper with seals and make sure that door is never leaned on or knocked the switches and controls should not be tampered with to conclude nowadays microwave oven has become an inevitable and integral part of urban households the use of microwave gives a flexible and convenient way to reheat cook or thaw foods several researches have been conducted to find out the safety as well as relative nutrient losses with microwave oven the existing evidence shows that foods cooked in microwave oven have the same quality compared to the foods cooked with other traditional methods provided the consumers follow the given instructions thank you hope you have learned the basics of microwave oven let's meet in the next module with a different topic